Lego. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. It's the original Batman. One time, one time. It's a Batman. <gasps> hey, guys. Do you know what today is? Yes, guys. It is my graduation day. Ugh, my goodness. No more class, guys. I am done. I have completed my MBA, and I will be graduating today at three o'clock, which is a couple of hours. Uh, I feel so blessed. <sighs> I'm about to cry already. I just know I'm gonna cry all day today because I wanted this so bad and I waited for it so long um, and I worked so hard for it and I'm just so happy. So I'll cry with just happy tears. <laughs> So guys, I'm really, really excited about graduation today and I decided just to film a get ready with me, uh, getting ready for graduation and using um, some new products that I've gotten recently to create a look. So if you are interested in seeing me get ready for my <sighs> graduation, then please do keep on watching beautiful people. Okay guys, so I need you to understand that this was a joyous, joyous day for me. You were gonna see a whole lot of extraness and a whole lot of celebration and a whole lot of just hype, okay? <laughs> so just bear with me. Um, but yeah, in creating this look, I really wanted to try out the new ColourPop and Makeup Shayla collection because I purchased it and I hadn't had a chance to try it out. And I'd heard some really, really good things. I was like, you know what? We're about to pull out this set, this collection, and create a look for graduation. So yeah, there's gonna be a whole lot of dancing in this video. <laughs> but yeah, I started out using my Fenty foundation, oh, I'm sorry, my Fenty Beauty primer. And I realized that I'm out so I guess it's a good and a bad thing because I spend a lot of money on it more than I normally would spend because I'm super cheap but at least I know that like I actually got good use out of it but I was kind of bummed out to realize that I was almost out so yeah I used the Fenty primer but then I also went in with my baby skin um, primer for my pores because I was really on some trying to look just flawless and immaculate for this day so then i use the anastasia beverly hills contour kit cream contour kit to color correct underneath my eyes um, before going in with my foundation and you guys this is extra but your girl did use three different foundations. Don't judge me, but there was a reason for me using all three of these, okay? First of all, the LA Girl, um, or the LA Colors, I think it was LA Girl Truly Matte Foundation. I really, really like how that keeps me nice and matte and oil-free. The Fenty Beauty Foundation, I threw that in because the colors of the other two foundations really don't work for me to be quite honest and the Fenty Beauty kind of pulled it all together and then the Radiant Foundation gives me the most amazing glow so I decided to use all of them together current favorite concealers are the ColourPop concealers and I recently picked up a few more of their shades so I did use the ColourPop concealers to do my contour and my highlight um, I don't have the concealers in front of me but I will put the colors that I used up on the screen but I have to tell you guys, like, I do not always contour my face. I definitely don't contour there on my chin. <laughs> I was being extra. Um, but for this day, I really did want to do the most with my makeup, to be quite honest. So I decided to go ahead and contour. And when I tell you that this ColourPop concealer is just so incredibly easy to blend out, it is it's just my favorite. Like, I don't, I don't have anything else to say. I will forever buy these ColourPop concealers. Um, they're the bomb. Like, they are.
don't know. Oh, yeah. Okay, so for highlighting underneath my eye, I also used the ColourPop concealers, but I used two different colors. I used the, um, what was originally the Deep Golden 60 that I'd bought before they changed the name, and I put on top of that the Medium Dark 36, just because for me, I felt like that was just a little a bit too light to use on its own underneath my eye but I do like what I got by mixing the two underneath my eye so right after I applied my under eye concealer I went ahead and set it with the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and I don't typically bake I usually just apply some and then blend it out um, but I I did let the powder sit just a little bit on my face because I really wanted to make sure that I wasn't getting oily and shiny throughout the day. But when I say I barely left it on, I barely left it on. So after letting that powder sit for just a second, I brushed it away using my BH Cosmetics pressed powder in the color 250, which is one of my favorite powders to use. So I used that to brush it away just so I didn't have any kind of a cast or anything left behind. I then went ahead and pressed that powder all over the rest of my face to set it. Okay, so right after that, I went in with my all-time favorite bronzer that I use all the time, and that's the CoverGirl Ebony Bronze. So then I went into my e.l.f. blush palette and mixed a couple of the colors to apply to the apples of my cheeks. So I did go ahead and do my brows off camera because I didn't told y'all a couple of times, brows are not my strong point. See me on the floor. I'ma make you bounce like a hurricane. I'ma make your bed rock like a hurricane. I'ma, I'ma, I'ma do it like nobody can. And I'll give you all the things that nobody can. I'ma make. Why is Pandora giving me my whole life right now, y'all? I'm feeling all of this. I'm with all of this. I'm with all of this. I am in my zone right now. Your girl's about to graduate. It's lit right now. <laughs> So I went ahead and used the ColourPop concealer in the shade Medium Dark 36 to prime my eyelid. I did already do one of my eyelids off camera just to kind of see what I wanted the look to look like. But basically what I was going for with my eyeshadow look was not too simple but also not too dramatic i was really going for kind of like a graduation glam type of look so i tried to choose colors that would kind of give me that look and i really did like how that first eye came out so i was very very pleased with where i was going with the look Lego Original 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 hey. man. When they say it's bad, I'm not in mind, I tell them it's my life so after I got down most of the shades that I wanted for like my transition, my crease, my outer V and all of that, I did go in with a little bit more of that concealer before I placed my other lid color on because I wanted it to kind of stand out, I really wanted it to pop. And then I just went ahead and kind of blended that in, patted that in with a concealer brush. So I ended up going in with my finger at first to apply my lid color 
but then going in with a beige cosmetics brush to kind of layer on the color a little bit more. And I was just like blown away by how pretty this freaking color was. It was so pretty, guys. So then I went in with a little bit of a deeper shade um, and another brush just to kind of blend along that line where the shimmery color was. So there wasn't any harsh lines, but also kind of deepen, deepen up that area as well. Spitting these bars from deep down within You already know it's a killing when I'm spitting If you're a hater you can see me when you see me Okay so I did my eyes My lashes did not turn out good And I actually gave myself extra time Just in case my lashes and stuff didn't turn out right And I do everything over um, They didn't turn out how I wanted them But they're not you know perfect But um, they're not bad enough that I would start all over This I'm just going to deal with And I'm still going to have a good day And I'm still going to be popping and I'm just not going to be close up in any of my pictures. Um, but I, I will live with this. I think, though, the eyeshadow. This palette is life, though. Come on, sis. Come on, Shayla. What? Everything. This is beautiful. Besides the lash. Ignore the lashes, okay? But the eyeshadow is so freaking beautiful. So, I have my face mostly done um, for how I'm going to wear it to graduation in a couple of hours. Oh, my goodness. So, um... The beginning portion of this was probably, not probably, it's going to be talked through, but right now since I'm trying to decide some things, I'm just going to kind of talk through this portion while I'm deciding what I'm going to use. So I did get the rest of Shayla's collection as well, um, which included two different highlights. I am going to use one or both of these highlights, so I'm just going to open them up really quick and see what they look like and which one's going to look better with what you know I'm trying to do today. This is beautiful in the jar. It's so pretty in the container. Uh, I can already I feel like I'm going to use that one. It's really pretty. This one is Pose and the other one is Boomin. And I don't honestly feel like I'm going to be able to choose. I want to swatch them each really really quickly and um, but I really just feel like just looking at them I feel like I'm going to wear both. I don't know if most people would do a first impressions <laughs> or like have their first time using a product on an important day like graduation, but YOLO. This is Pose. Pose is beautiful. You probably can't really see it because of this light. Boomin is also pretty. And as I expected, I can't really decide what's going to look better with these eyes. I feel like they could both go, but I am going to actually just go ahead and mix them. You know what I'm saying? Go big or go home. It's graduation day, y'all. I should have put on some waterproof eyeliner because I'm just going to be crying. Popping. So let's put get a little bit of pose onto my highlighting brush and apply. And if you can tell, I've already got a bit of a glow because I did use that Radiant Foundation. It really comes through with the glow. I want it to be glowing and radiating happiness today because I am just so happy. And I feel like I need a glow that's going to show how blessed I am. Does that make sense or no? No, but I just want my highlight to exemplify how I feel on the inside. I'm just glowing booming with pride and happiness it was a struggle y'all okay so i'm about to put booming on top of pose Ooh, hey girl hey so pretty trying to not go too ham i did say i wanted to be extra today but we don't need to be too extra or do we it's really pretty guys it's so pretty mixed together <gasps> Come on, Shayla. Come through, Shayla. <laughs> this is an important day for me, girl. You got me popping out here. <laughs> Shayla got me popping. <sighs> I do have all of her lip colors as well. I'm just going to pull them all out and swatch them really quick on my hand so I can see which color uh, I want to use with this look. Ooh. Okay. Come on, sis. Quickie. And ooh. I'm really not sure, guys. Hmm. I guess the best way to decide would be to put them on and see how they look. So let's do that. This is ooh. This is what I'm leaning towards right now.
no. Nope, nope, nope. No. <laughs> nah. So, no, we're gonna take that off. That won't work. Let's try Quickie. So yeah, Quickie is pretty. I like Quickie. I think I am gonna end up wearing Quickie. So I'm gonna go with Quickie, but I'm gonna put a liquid lipstick down first and then put Quickie on top of it. Okay, so I think I'm going to line, moisturize, use Calypso um, on the bottom and then put Quickie on top of it. I'm just gonna do all of those steps. I'm not gonna talk through that. Original, 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 original Batman, okay, okay, guys, I think makeup is done. This is the look so far. I am going to spray my whole face down again with my Mario Badesco, and then we're just going to fix his hair and try on a couple of outfits. Lego. Okay, so this is the Sensational Taraji wig in the color 2, I believe, but um, she is starting to get a little bit nappy, so basically I just had to brush through her a little bit, but I just love this wig. The style is so cute. All I did was brush through her, but kind of um, brush in the direction that I wanted the force to go to make sure that they laid how I wanted them. Okay guys, so at this point I was done with my hair, done with my makeup, but I could not decide between two different dresses. So these are the two dresses that I was trying to decide between. Um, I really liked that red dress, but I felt like it was kind of doing too much with you know the length and then also the off shoulder and with the shoes that I was going to wear I just felt like it was doing a bit too much I did end up going with the champagne colored dress the lacy one because I felt it felt more like graduation and I thought it was you know a little bit more classy I don't know I just kind of liked that look a little bit better even though I thought the red went really well with my gown also, I felt like those wedges would be a lot easier to walk around in and to make sure I didn't trip across the stage, girl. <laughs> okay, guys, thanks so much for watching. I am just so, so, so happy and so, so, so proud and I feel so blessed to have made it this far in my, or made it this far, to have completed this journey of mine uh, to obtain my MBA and I will be graduating in a couple of hours and this is what we came up with in terms of uh, our look. I'm very pleased with it. I'm very pleased with it and I am just looking forward to an incredible day and I know that I'm going to cry all of this makeup off. <laughs> But yeah, guys, um, I just wanted to share this moment with you. I really want to start incorporating uh, you guys into a bit more of my life with the kids and things that are going on with me um, so we can build this relationship, build this bond, this family right here on YouTube. Um, but thank you guys for sharing this moment with me. I am going to go ahead and make this outro now because I don't know if I will have time to or even remember to uh, vlog at all or capture any footage. But if I do, I am definitely going to add those clips to this video as well so you can kind of share in that whole experience. So that's it guys. I feel like I'm going to cry already. but. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, please do make sure that you subscribe before you take off. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye!